Well, we're really excited to have this group of kids back with us and also to welcome the new kids coming in. Um, over half the team is going to be new to our program and I think they have a great nucleus of veterans to look up to and to follow and, and their lead in to, uh, into the season. And I think that for the most part for the last week or so, we've really done a great, great job in showing the younger kids the way we like things done here at Ryder and they're following very closely um, the leadership of the seniors and the upperclassmen, so it's a very making for a very nice, comfortable environment that's hardworking and energetic out in the field. I mean, the, having the 10 or 11 new kids that we have here, you know, brings a really a, a great variety of, first of all, kids from all around the world, um, and uh, various gameplay systems and techniques that they're bringing into our program. I think that, you know, yes, in years past, maybe we've had smaller recruiting classes, but it's okay to have a large recruiting class in the, in the fact that this year's group they're just all cut from the same cloth and they all are willing to learn okay, and to adapt to our system. And I think that they're meshing very well in with the, in very well with the upperclassmen and the upperclassmen are just so positive with them and it's just great to see the, the team cohesiveness that's already forming right now and hopefully it's going to be strong enough to take us into, you know, into the playoff season. I mean, absolutely. You know, when, you know, years back when we brought Virginia into the program, you know, the older kids really looked at her for to her skill, okay, and to help raise the level of their game. And we have several players on our team this year that are newcomers to our program that really have a, a lot of skill um, and a lot to give to our program that the older kids then also steal from. Um, so it's going to make it an even uh, give back from both ends, you know, from the old to the new and from the new to the old. I mean, we're really happy that we're finally playing under the max um, leadership, um, although we haven't been able to, you know, crack that night and win a match championship yet, but uh, that's always going to be our goal. Um, I think LIU coming in is really good for the MAC. Mm -hmm. You know, we needed to add an extra team with Quinnipiac leading, leaving, and Fairfield has always been a very tough opponent for us uh, in years past, and they bring a lot to our, our, uh, our conference. So overall, you'll see that the general play in the MAC is, is getting better and better each year, um, and, the, and the league is very, very competitive. I don't think there's one game on the schedule that we can look to and say, you know what, this is going to be a surefire win because you know, on any given day, anybody can knock somebody off, uh, especially now that the Mac is getting stronger in, in their play. I mean, we're going to do our best to try to get there. Um, we feel like we have enough talent in order to get there. It's just going to be a matter of how well we mesh together um, and how well we prepare for when it comes time to Mac play. We feel like the schedule that we put together is very competitive and it gives us a chance to grow together a little bit and learn from each other. and you know, get stronger and stronger and hopefully we're going to crescendo into the season in the part where we're at the Mac, um, Mac play and do our best at the end.